Hey guys, what's up? Red J Ahead here, back with basically another how-to video guide. Uh, I got my partner in crime over here, Ben. Ben. Oh, who's the cutest muffin? Ben's gonna help us connect some uh, earphones to the Nintendo Switch. So with the Nintendo Switch new update, which I'm going to maneuver and select over here, you can now connect, um, uh, you know, many audio Bluetooth devices. Uh, I accidentally have this one connected, so I'm gonna remove it currently. Um, and so, uh, if you go into system over here really quickly, you'll notice that, oh, pardon me. Uh, you'll notice that, sorry, I'm doing this one handed. <laughs> and it's not working out the way I would have hoped. So if you go to the very bottom under system, you'll notice that uh, the current system version is 13.0.0, so that's the one that you want. If that's not the um, one that you have, then click system update so that your switch is fully updated to the correct system. So let's try pairing this de these devices really quickly. So for the Habit earphones, these earphones are okay. Um, you know, they're in the price range of like $50 sort of area, so $50 Canadian, so they're not the greatest, but the question that we're going to solve today is can you pair them? And then we got the standard AirPods, these are the AirPods too, so can you pair these also? So I'm going to try and pair these kind of at the same time and see what happens. Um, so I click search for Bluetooth audio devices. Actually, if you didn't see that, it, there's a big pair device over here. So I click pair device and now the, the Nintendo is just doing its job looking for audio devices that it can pair. So let's see if it works. Spoiler alert, um, I did try it on the AirPods already and it works with basically zero latency. Um, it's incredible. <laughs> Nintendo should have done this a long, long time ago. So, eh, and there you have it. You actually have both of them. So I'm gonna connect the Have It ones, just so you guys can see, because um, I've already connect, I've already tried the AirPods, and so it says up to two wireless controllers can connect while using Bluetooth audio. So basically, what I think Nintendo did is they they used the Bluetooth capabilities that they have with the controllers to kind of split between Bluetooth audio and Bluetooth controllers. So it limits the amount of Bluetooth controllers that you can have, but on the other hand, um, you can listen with the Bluetooth audio, which is great. So I'm gonna pop these suckers in really quickly over here and move around a little bit. You guys aren't gonna be able to hear, only I'm gonna be able to hear, but I'm just gonna play a game really quickly over here just to see how it goes. Let's do Yoshi's Crafted World. This wasn't the greatest game, but it was all right. We'll go to my account. And uh, I'm just checking the sound now. I know you guys can't hear, but I'm gonna tell you how it sounds. Um, and then I, I, just so you know, you can toggle at the top here for the volume and it'll actually show you that I have the Havit i93s plugged in. And if I put it at the top volume over here, maybe, maybe you can hear. I'll try it in a second. Let's push this up just a little bit. Okay, yeah, so it's pretty good. As soon as I hit start game, it just it just does it, which is great. I'm gonna put it on the floor over here. Let's see if you could hear them. I don't know if you can, but anyways, I'm gonna try it. It's gonna move around a little bit. You probably can't pick that up. Anyways, um, it works. <laughs> Thank you, Nintendo, for finally doing this. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you did. And say bye to Ben. Ben. Ben, say bye to the subs. Behusha. Good boy. Bye.